Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into two of NVIDIA's popular graphics cards, the RTX 4070 and RTX 4070 Ti. If you're considering one of these cards, you're probably wondering, what's the real difference between them, and which one should you get? Let's find out. First, let's look at the basics. Both the RTX 4070 and the 4070 Ti are based on NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, bringing huge performance boosts and impressive power efficiency compared to their predecessors. But where they differ most is in core specs. The 4070 Ti has more CUDA cores and a higher boost clock than the 4070, meaning it's generally faster. Here's a quick look at their specs side by side. The 4070 Ti packs in 7,680 CUDA cores versus the 4070's 5,888 CUDA cores. It also has a slightly higher boost clock speed, and both cards have 12GB of GDDR6X memory, so while they're close in some areas, that extra power on the 4070 Ti can make a noticeable difference. But how does this play out in real-world performance? When it comes to gaming, the 4070 Ti consistently pushes out higher frame rates than the 4070, especially in 1440p and 4K gaming. Let's look at a few popular games as examples. In Cyberpunk 2077, for example, the 4070 T delivers about 10 to 15% more frames per second than the 4070 on average, especially when ray tracing is enabled. It's a similar story across many other demanding titles. The 4070 Ti typically stays around 10 to 20% faster than the 4070 in most games. Now, if you're more into content creation, like video editing, 3D rendering, or streaming, the 4070 Ti's extra power can make a difference here, too. When rendering complex scenes in programs like Blender or DaVinci Resolve, the 4070 Ti can complete tasks slightly faster than the 4070, while the difference might not be massive. The 4070 Ti can save you some valuable time, especially on larger projects. So if you're a creator who does a lot of heavy work on the GPU, the extra cores on the 4070 Ti might be worth it. One of the biggest differences you'll notice is in power consumption. The 4070 Ti generally uses more power, around 285 watts compared to the 4070's 200 watts. This means it's more power hungry, and you might need a slightly beefier PSU if you're choosing the T. And finally, there's the price. As of now, the RTX 4070 Ti generally costs $100 to $150 more than the 4070. So, is it worth it? If you're after the best performance, especially for gaming or content creation, the 4070 Ti is a solid pick. But if you're on a budget or don't need that extra power, the 4070 still delivers excellent performance. So which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech breakdowns. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.